As we wind down to the end of the year, it's time to take a look at some of our most wanted games expected out in 2021. Hi there and welcome again to Get Indie Gaming and to the first of a five-part series where we show off some of the best looking indie games likely to launch next year. While some you've likely to have seen before, we're confident this series will show off plenty new titles to go on your wish list. And on that, let's crack on with the rundown. Let's begin, and in no particular order, we have You Suck at Parking, which in my case is entirely true in the real world. Expected out at some point next year, and dubbed here in the press release as the most extreme parking game, and the only one of its kind with an objective at some point to find a place to park up, it's essentially a fun and vibrant looking racing game where you need to get from point A to point B without crashing or exploding or have anything else really get in your way. We suppose one of the best ways in describing this one, and at the time the video airs you can play a short but enjoyable demo on the game's Steam homepage, well it's just so delightfully silly. We adore the playful nature of the graphics and the cars and other vehicles that remind us of the boxed stuffed full of Hot Wheel racers we have somewhere up in the loft. You Suck at Parking is expected to come to PC via Steam, and like we suspect many of you watching this video, we'd love to see it also come to the Switch. Expected out at some point in the spring of next year. At number 9, Growbot is a distinctive point and click adventure with some of the prettiest artwork we've seen in ages, particularly within the delightful looking characters and backgrounds, with perhaps the exception of one other game featured later in this rundown. Aside from the artwork, Grobot looks ready to deliver a really interesting overall story where you play as Nara, a Grobot within a space station who's in training to become a ship's captain. Like others, our first thought upon seeing Grobot was how it gives us a feel of machinarium, with the puzzle aspects looking simple and yet engaging enough where you'll be tasked with, amongst other things, arranging flowers into the correct order, push and pulling of levers here and there, and manipulating and matching objects from about the place. So yes, Grobot looks pretty special, and we'll be headed to PC via Steam. From one visually endearing game to another, Endling is headed over to PC by way of Steam and also coming to the Xbox, PlayStation and the Nintendo Switch. Endling is a 3D side-scrolling survival adventure game, all seen and told through the eyes of what's said to be the last fox on Earth as she looks to provide food, shelter and safety for her pups. By day you'll hunker down in your shelter and by night you're aiming to move with stealth from place to place ever watchful that each move could be your last. Said to be an eco-conscious project designed to leave a lasting impression on players, Endling is currently listed as coming out soon. Is this a day one buy for you? If so, be sure to let us know down in the comments. Moving on and at number 7, There Is No Light is certainly a far more gritty looking affair than the first few games in this little rundown. There Is No Light is a brutal action-adventure game that's set in a grim underworld ruled by a group called the Church of the Great Hand. There's a demo you can play right now on the game's Steam homepage, and having spent a good while with this, the pixel art graphics, characters and backgrounds are stunningly done, as is the combat which, as we've already mentioned, feels exceptionally brutal, with players needing fast reactions and a deft touch to avoid a quick and violent death. With horror sections, plenty of boss battles, There Is No Light is expected next year onto PCs via Steam. From one gorgeous looking pixel art and brutal fighter to another, at number 6, Death Trash has been in development for more than 5 years and is the work of a single developer. Unlike all of the other games within this forthcoming series, Death Trash is the only one that's expected out in 2021 within early access. Longer term viewers of the channel will know we've covered this one a few times, although if you're new here or new to the game, we think you might like it even though, well it does look a touch grisly and macabre. The game features an open world single player environment with what's called a strong story campaign and optional local co-op. Looking at the recent developer update posted on Steam from late October, 
The developers mentioned the game has plenty of personality, the combat and controls feel good, and that the local co-op mode is fun, although there is still room for improvement. To be honest though, based on what we've seen of this one so far, we don't mind waiting for this to come when it's good and ready. This is the story of a little juggler's girl. Trapped in her life, she wanted to see the world. At number 5, and something we think will be new to most viewers here on Get Indie Gaming, we have A Juggler's Tale, which might be coming out next year, although we have the suspicion it may pop out to the year after next. Either way, we wanted to give this 3D side-scrolling story-based puzzler just a little signal boost. There's something about all of this that's just ever so slightly unsettling. You play as a string puppet called Abby, held captive within a circus. One day she escapes and sets out to explore what she finds to be a war-torn, ravaged medieval fairy tale, avoiding bandits, crossing rivers and generally keeping herself safe and well. Said to be a story about hope and empowerment, we're perhaps most looking forward to see how the puzzles will work out all the while using what's said to be a unique, string puppet based gameplay mechanic. Expected to come out when all the knots are tied for PC, via GOG and Steam. Up next, and the latest game from Swery. The Good Life is expected to launch in the summer of next year onto the PC, PlayStation, Xbox and the Nintendo Switch. A long time coming, this was first kick-started in 2017 to the tune of nearly 800,000 US dollars. The Good Life tells the tale of a photojournalist called Naomi Hayward from NYC, who is in town to investigate a place called Rainy Woods, which is the so-called happiest town in the world. Given this game is from Swery, we can perhaps expect it to be a tad odd here and there. We already know Naomi soon discovers the villagers are able to transform into cats at night, and soon Naomi is able to join them as either a cat or a dog, each of which brings new and different gameplay elements. Will you be quick and nimble like the cat, or use your canine sense of smell? Amongst the investigation of the town, there seems to be plenty of other things to get up to, and like all games from Swery, for us, the good life will be a day one buy. At number 3, and remember, this rundown and the other videos in this series once they drop will be in no real order of preference. Eastwood has been a firm viewer favourite here on Get Indie Gaming since we featured it around this time last year. With a Steam page listing as coming soon, Eastwood is one heck of a stunner to look at, and we'll see you embark on a journey through a society that's on the brink of collapse. The human population is almost dwindled to nothing, and a deadly toxic presence has spread that destroys everything in its path. That's where you come in to fight it all off and all the other nasties while solving environmental based puzzles. You want dungeons? Well Eastwood has those too, as well as a quirky cast and places to visit. Eastwood is expected soon onto PC, at present there's no word of console releases. At number 2, and just sit back and take a look at this one. Dordoin is a story driven adventure game where you play as Mimi, a 32 year old woman visiting the house of her recently deceased grandmother. Mimi used to spend her summers with her grandmother who before passing, left Mimi a series of letters and puzzles to solve and in so doing, remind her to make the most of her life. Your players, the older and younger Mimi, in what looks more watercolour than video game. One of us here in our little team likewise used to spend the summers down there in the south of France, and every time they look at this game, they say they can almost feel the warmth of the early evening sun on their faces, as they recall sitting alongside the river or having yet another cheeky little piece of French pastry before settling down to a hearty but fresh summer evening meal. Quite simply, we've not seen anything like Dodoin before and really can't wait to see yet more from it. As for a release date, well there's a hint here and there of a 2021 timeframe, although we can happily wait and sit back all the while to play once it's good and ready on either the PC or the Nintendo Switch.
At number one, and bookending the first video in this five-part series of games we most want to play in 2021, or perhaps beyond, Sable has, like a few others, been on our wish lists for quite some time. With an art style that feels vaguely familiar, Sable is expected out next year, with it bringing a coming-of-age tale of discovery through an open-world desert landscape that's full of ancient relics from the past. While travelling across the desert, you'll come into contact with nomadic clans to learn their tales in what's said to be a deeply personal quest about self-discovery. Sable is expected out first on PC and onto the Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. So there we go, we're out of time on this, the first of a new series of our most wanted games out in 2021 and perhaps a little beyond. With four more episodes due before the end of the year, which games are you most wanting to play? Leave us a comment and if you like this video, click the like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. A subscription with all the notifications turned on is the easiest way to stay up to date with all of our indie game rundowns, reviews and other features. Either way, many thanks for watching and we'll see you all again here next time for another indie game video.